Hey guys, when you're naming alkenes, that is, carbon chains with double bonds between two of the carbons, an interesting thing comes out. Here we have five carbon chains. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they're both pentenes. And the double bond starts at the second carbon, carbon one, two, carbon one, two. So they're both pent-2-ene. But what we haven't shown you here are two hydrogens that stick out because each carbon needs four bonds in an organic molecule. And here we have a double bond with a CH3 and an H and a CH2, CH3 and an H. Now, what you'll notice is that in one case, the H's are on opposite sides of the double bond. And on the other case, both hydrogens are on the same side of the double bond. Because these bonds can't rotate the same way single bonds can, these configurations are fixed and these are technically two different molecules. They're, each atom is connected to the same types of atoms, but the way that they're arranged is fixed in a different configuration. In any case, where I'm going with this is that both of these compounds are pent-2-ene. Pent two in because they're five carbon chains with a double bond starting at carbon two. But in the case where the carbon chains are sticking out of opposite sides of the molecule, we call that trans. Now, this is a carbon chain, and this is a carbon chain. Well, I guess the whole thing is a carbon chain. And carbon chains take precedence over hydrogen when you're doing trans. The bigger the chain, the higher the precedence. So, between these two things, this carbon chain is more important. Between these two things, this carbon chain is more important. And they're on opposite sides of the double bond. So it's trans. Between these two parts, this takes precedence. And between these two, this takes precedence. Along the double bond, they're both on the same side, and we call it cis. This is how we demonstrate the two different configurations that there can be, trans-pent-2-ene and cis-pent-2-ene. Let's try this again together. Let's take a look. What have we got here? It looks like we've got one, two, three, four carbons in a row. Looks like we have a double bond starting at carbon two but to ene. But because we have an ene and we have different things connected on each carbon, like a hydrogen and a CH3, hydrogen and CH3, we need to say whether it's cis or trans. That takes precedence and this takes precedence. Hydrogen is often the lowest precedence anyways. These are on the same side of the double bond. This is cis but to ene. One, two, three, four carbon chain with a double bond starting at carbon two. And the two highest precedence groups are across each other from the double bond, trans but to ene. Here we have, uh-oh, we have to find the longest carbon chain first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a nine carbon chain going this way. And I believe we have a nine carbon chain going this way. I'm gonna choose this carbon chain because it has the double bond in it. So I heard nine carbon chain and the double bond starts at carbon one, two, three. Now, which groups take precedence here? This group is five carbons long and this is three carbons long. So this one does. This group's two carbons long. This one's one carbon long. So this one does. This is called cis because they're both on the same side of the double bond. One thing that I should point out is that if you had something like this, you don't need to show cis or trans for this particular molecule because on this side, both 
of the atoms are the same, so it wouldn't matter if they were flipped like it mattered here. What I'm saying is that each of the carbons that have the double bond in them needs something different attached to them. H and CH3, uh, pentyl and propyl. They just have to be different for cis and trans to be a big deal. The last thing I want to point out is that cis and trans really only works if you have only one double bond in the molecule. If you have more than one double bond, how are you going to tell the difference between whether this one's cis, this one's trans? The official way to do that is with something called EZ naming. I'm going to make a, another video about that because for the most part, you're just going to be using cis and trans. Hey, best of luck.